when I would ask you in which country is the city Berlin, then probably you would say Germany. However, when I was creating my map visualization, Power BI plotted Berlin in El Salvador. Now, as you can imagine, I was a little bit surprised. So I double checked and actually there's also a city called Berlin inside of El Salvador. So what now? How can I make sure that when I create a map visualizations that my locations show up where I expect them to be? Now let's have a look. Welcome to How to Power BI. My name is Bas, and if you're new to this channel, then make sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to stay up to date on everything related to Power BI. Now let's have a look at our map problem. Now for this example, I'm going to use a normal map visualization. So here you see I have a dim geography table in which I have the city, the country, region, and state. All right, so I want to show the sales amount as bubbles on a map by city. All right, so I'm going to take city and I'm just going to drag it onto the location. Step one. Step two is I'm going to take sales, which is going to determine the size of my bubbles. So let's drag it onto the size. And when you put a field like city or state or country onto location, it sends that data to Bing Maps and does the geocoding for you. Okay, so it creates a latitude and longitude data and plots it on the map. And this is the result. And this is where I was a little bit surprised because I had only data for Europe. And clearly I have some bubbles that are outside of Europe. And the example from the beginning, Berlin, well, over here it is. So let's go over some approaches to fix this. Okay, so one approach would be to give Power BI more information. Instead of only putting in the city, well, we also could put in the country and the state so that it has more information and can map it a little bit more accurately. Okay, so let's try this. I'm gonna take country and I'm just gonna drag it to the location field right above city. So now we have one bubble for each country in my data set and then we can use expand down to go to the next level that I have on location, which is then city. Okay, so here you have to make sure that you click on expand down and not this one, go to the next level, because that would replace the country with the city. Now, instead of that, we need to expand down, which means it combines the country with the city information and does the mapping more accurately. So now you see we only have bubbles for countries within Europe. Another option would be to add another column that combines the city with the state and the country and use that as your location field for your map visual. Okay, so one way to do it would be to go over here to, the, to your data view and click on new column. And let's call this column location. And here we're gonna combine what we have in the city column. And then we can use the ampersand, quotation mark, comma, space, quotation mark, another ampersand, and we're gonna combine that with the state. Okay, so just type in state. And then we also have more information uh, about the country. Okay, so let's add that as well. There you go. Now I go back to my map and replace city and country with the new field that I just created, which is the location field. So just drag and drop it onto location. And there you go, we have exactly the same map visual. Another thing that you wanna do is to choose the right data category for your city field, state field, country field, okay? So you have to select each individual field, then go to column tools, and then here you can choose the data category. So from this drop down, you see I can choose now city. And the same thing I then do for state and country as well. And once you have done that, a little globe icon pops up right in front of your field name that just shows that the data category, city, state, or country has been assigned to that field. And you might be thinking, why are we doing this? Because just before it also worked without having to assign a data category to it. And you're right. However, it can also go wrong if there is a city and state that have the same name. Which one would Power BI choose? Now, for example, if we then take New York, like here, now, at the moment, when I drop in New York, it shows it as the city New York. 
not as stacked. However, if I go to the field location that has the, the, the org in it, then I choose now as a data category, state. Let's see what happens. So you see now it plots my bubble on the state New York, not on the city. Okay, so there's one more option left, and that is to use the latitude and longitude field that you have for your map visuals instead of the location field. Okay, so then it doesn't have to send the locations to Bing Maps to do the geocoding because the latitude and longitude data are already in your data set. However, in my data set, I don't have latitude and longitude data. So what I need to do is first to bring it over to my data set. I can do this, for example, with Power Query through Emerge. So let's do this quickly. So I've imported a data set that has almost all of the cities in Europe in it with the latitude and longitude data. And then I can merge it with my data to bring over the latitude and longitude data that I can then use for my map visual. And you also have this for postal codes within Europe, outside of Europe. And you can find this list with latitude and longitude data very easily and with a quick Google. All right. So let's merge this data set with my Tim Geography data set. So I'm gonna go to the Home tab and then Merge Queries. And here I'm gonna merge it with the latitude and longitude data set on the city. And let's also take the country just to be sure. And you can do that with holding the control key. Okay, so it's gonna concatenate the city and the country to do the match. Now over here, I'm gonna have left hour match and able to match all of my cities. So I'm gonna click here on okay. And then expand that column. And I don't need the original column name as a prefix. And let's bring over everything except the city name. Okay, so now we have the latitude and longitude data matched to our original Tim geography table. Then this lat long EU cities I don't need. I'm just gonna right click and disable the load. And then we can click on close and apply and wait for our query to refresh. Okay, so I have now my latitude and longitude data. Let's go back to our map visual and take out the location field from location. Instead, use that latitude and longitude data. So I'm gonna go to dim geography and here we have latitude. Now, first of all, make sure that you go to data category and say that it's latitude, okay? And then you do the same thing for longitude. So you click on longitude, go to column tools and choose the right data category. So now that we have that, let's add them to the map visual, latitude, longitude. And you see, it gives me error. To display latitude and longitude pairs, set the aggregate for latitude and longitude to don't summarize. Okay, now let's do that. Let's listen to what Power Guy says. So I'm gonna switch this to don't summarize. And you see, there we have now a bubble for each city in my data set. The downside of this approach is that when I hover over one of the cities now, it doesn't show the city name. So I can still take city and put it either on the tooltip. Okay, so now it shows up in the tooltip. Or I take city and put it on location. However, what happens now is that we have again another error. Remove the location to display the latitude and longitude pairs. Alternatively, you can also keep location and set the aggregate for latitude and longitude to average. Ah, so we have here an alternative. So if I go to latitude and longitude and switch the summary to average, then now we fixed it, okay? And if I want to show it now by state, well, then I can just change city to state, of course. Also keep in mind that your latitude and longitude data needs to be stored as a data type decimal number. So this is how you can accurately plot your data on a map visual. And now you also know that there is a Berlin in El Salvador. Thank you very much again for watching all the way till the end. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I hope to see you in the next video.